I received a call from my aunt. Something's wrong with your mother. My sister Gail and I are nurses. We rushed over to mums. She was hallucinating, seeing dead babies, and curled up in a ball crying. After several hours in the emergency department, the doctor told us that nothing was wrong. She was being discharged. I told the doctor that mum worked full time and had recently returned from a trip to Australia. My ED colleagues began treating us like interfering daughters. My sister and I didn't want to argue, but we knew something was wrong. I asked, how could she be discharged? What labs did you do? Why didn't you check her lights? More blood was drawn, her electrolytes were found to be severely abnormal, and she was admitted to the ICU. Mum was diagnosed with lung cancer that she battled for 18 months. After Mum died, I returned to work in the ED. During my morning patient rounds, I met Mr. S, an 80-year-old man with a head laceration from a fall. He was waiting for an ambulance to take him back to the nursing home. When I assessed him, he was screaming, hypertensive, and bradycardic, all of the signs of a head bleed. I asked the charge nurse to page Neuro. She refused. He's ready to go back to the nursing home. I paged Neuro myself. They examined him and ordered an immediate head scan. The charge nurse was furious at me. The neuro team and I took Mr. S's stretcher and ran down the hall to the CT scan. He died in the scan tube. In that moment, I knew that my mom and Mr. S were victims of ageism. I finished my shift that day, walked out of the ED, and knew I would never return. I learned a lot from experiencing the other side of healthcare, the dark side that we never discuss.